Okay, what is up, guys? It's True Nature's Designs here, Tom Design, and I'm gonna be bringing a uh, another beginner's tutorial. Uh, what it is is it's gonna be how how to uh, put uh, a flag in clan logos, but give it the uh, depth uh, so it has still a 3D effect to it. So first, you wanna open up your uh, Photoshop, and um, you wanna open up. What uh, what your logo? Mine. I'm just gonna be using a template, so I'm gonna just find mine. It's in downloads. It's just their logo template. Someone gave it to me. Where is it? Whoa, my computer frozen. There it is. You see something like this? Like this, you get, you have the depthness and everything. It's a nice, nice effect. Um, so I'm just gonna delete all the uh, flags. A minute. I'm using my computer's mic, so it might not sound as good. Um, but let's just say you get this logo. You want to open up a flag of yours. Uh, I'm just gonna use the. Uh, I'm gonna use the. Australian flag for some reason and we'll just drag it into this and as you'll see it'll come a bit big so you want to press control T to make it an uh, uh, transformable layer so you can move it around usually you'd go edit transform and then whatever and you want to just make it big enough so it goes around the text. Doesn't matter if it looks a bit outward or like long rather than length. So like this. It looks a bit weird. Just apply. And as you'll see it just covers the text as well as the background. And you want it just to cover the text. So what you want to do is hold is you want to go to layer two. And you want to create clipping mask and what that does is goes around the text like this now where the dare's got two parts of the logo it will look good just like this but the people that make the dare logos I think they got new ones now but the ones that made these ones the personal ones he added this little silver bit here so what you want to do is on the layer 2 you want to duplicate it and you want to put it up to the other dare logo usually you'd have uh, your one logo and you want to create a clipping mask so say this this one's the clipping mask that you want to do because you wouldn't have that this blue one here you wouldn't so say this white one's your one because you wouldn't have two layers of the uh, their logo uh, you want to create a clipping mask so it goes like this it go like that normally and uh, as you can see it's not really readable or anything so you want to go to opacity and you want to move it down like that and as you can see it covers the whole text it's still a bit silver there but you can change that in a minute you can move the depth up just make sure you get that nice 3d effect the bevel and the bevel in it and you want to go up to the circle here and you'll go brightness and contrast wait for it to load up uh, just got to move this down and the contrast obviously you would make it deeper so it looks more HD and nice and the brightness you'd put you'd probably just keep the same and as you can see you get this nice nice 3D effect here and uh, obviously you double click on the text change the colour to blue like that, why? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I've got mine on a color overlay. I want a nice blue. Maybe change the font of this. And obviously, what you'll get is a uh, a really nice logo. Let me just see. No. I'll just use a B bass. Hmm. Uh, 
and move up a bit like that and as you can see you get a nice logo effect here you get a really you can see the deepness in it and uh, it looks really nice rather than just having a uh, text looking like that where you can see just like the 2D effect of it not the 3D effect uh, but anyway guys I hope this uh, tutorial helped again it's for beginners it'll be going in the beginners playlist I'll be start doing advanced tutorials uh, today later on today so I hope this one helped guys um, I'm Tom Designs, True Nations Designs I'm out, peace.